Congratulations for choosing the green cable mat from FlexTherm. As a leader in floor warming and heating systems, we guarantee the reliability and performance of all our products. This video will show you how simple the installation process can be if you follow the directions closely. Before you start, carefully read the installation guide included in your floor heating package. We'll show you step by step how to install the green cable mat. The green cable mat is best suited for square or rectangular rooms that are free of obstacles. If your room is of irregular shape or if there are obstacles, you will get better results with the green cable surface, which is perfect for complex installations. Since the green cable mat is approved for wet environments, you can also install it in a shower with a ceramic or natural stone floor or in a sauna. In that case, you must install a second system separate from the one used to cover the room's floor. Refer to the installation guide for complete information on installation in a wet environment. Let's start by evaluating the surface to be heated. Make a scale drawing of the room on graph paper. With a calculator and some basic math, work out the surface area to be heated. Calculate the surface area of the room by multiplying length by width. Repeat the measurements and calculations to be certain that you have accurately calculated the area to be heated. Check the label on the package to confirm that you have the right length of mat to heat that area. Never install a mat designed for a larger surface since it cannot be shortened. Now we'll prepare the floor surface. Sweep up the larger debris. Inspect the floor carefully since even small things like nail heads, screws or staples can damage the cable. Clean the floor with a vacuum cleaner. Finally, clean up with a damp sponge because dust can interfere with adhesion of the mat, the dry set mortar or the self-leveling cement. Test the mat cable before removing the cellophane. Check the resistance of the cable with a multimeter. The reading should be within 5% of the value on the cable label attached to the end of the cable. Also check the insulation of the cable using a megometer. A reading of infinity means the cable is good. Record the results on the warranty card included in the box to validate the system warranty. Now you're ready to install the mat. Plan your installation carefully. You must maintain a minimum distance between the mat and walls or other obstacles. Do not install the mat any closer than 1.3 centimeters or half an inch from the base of a fixed item, a bath, or a shower. Do not install the mat any closer than 5 centimeters or 2 inches from a wall and 20.3 centimeters or 8 inches from another heating source on the floor. For a toilet, the minimum distance from the drain is 15.25 centimeters or 6 inches. This is the same for a shower drain or main drain. Note that the first section of the green cable mat is thicker and 2.1 meters or 7 feet long. This is the cold lead that connects to the electrical box. Make sure there is a hole at the base of the wall and insert two cords into the junction box. Leave the ends out for subsequent use to fish the cold lead and the probe cable into the electrical box. If you have to free the heating cable from the mesh to reach the electrical junction box, be careful not to cut or damage the cable. Make a groove on the floor to attach the mechanical joint with glue. For proper connection, the joint must be installed on the floor within 2.1 meters or 7 feet of the electrical box. Clean up all debris. Roll up the identification label on the cold lead and secure it with electrical tape. Attach the end of the cold lead and the end of the probe to the cords you previously inserted in the wall. Use the cords to raise the cold lead and the probe to the electrical box. Glue the mechanical joint in the groove using hot glue. The mat has a self-adhesive backing. Just unroll it and press to install on plywood or cement floors. Be sure to spread the mat evenly to avoid bumps or other irregularities. If you change direction, 
Cut the mat and turn the roll 180 degrees to start in the opposite direction. If you have to go around an obstacle, cut the mat and free the required length of cable. Use the cut ends of the mat or hot glue to attach the cable to the floor. Ensure you keep a constant spacing of 7.6 centimeters or 3 inches between the cable runs and maintain the minimum distances needed between the cable and various obstacles as previously noted. The cable cannot be overlapped, cut, shortened, modified, or stapled. Let's install the thermostat probe. The probe must be located between two cable runs from 30 to 60 centimeters or 1 to 2 feet inside the heating zone, but far away from any other source of heat or cold, such as direct sunlight or a cold water pipe. The probe cannot overlap the heating cable. Determine the appropriate location and glue the probe to the floor. Glue the probe wire to the floor up to the wall. Repeat the resistance and insulation tests. Record the results on the warranty card. Install a protective plate at the base of the wall to protect the cold lead and the probe wire from possible damage by nails during the installation of baseboards and quarter round. Take a photo of your installation. This will be a helpful reminder during any future renovations. You are now ready to install the floor covering. We'll look at two different techniques. Check first with the manufacturer to ensure product compatibility with FlexTherm heated floors. The first technique uses glazing with polymer-based dry set mortar. Apply it in the same direction as the cables using a flat trowel at an angle of 45 degrees. When it is properly dried, usually after 24 hours, install the floor covering with the recommended adhesive. The glazing stabilizes the cable and helps with installation of the floor covering. The second technique uses polymer-based self-leveling underlayment. Prepare your floor before pouring the base layer. Fill any holes with fiberglass. Run a bead of silicone between the walls and the floor. Glue a foam sheet along the base of the wall. Apply a primer coat on the entire floor surface and let it dry as recommended by the manufacturer. With a scraper, carefully spread the self-leveling underlayment. When it is completely dry, install your floor covering following the manufacturer's directions. The last step is connecting the cables to the thermostat. First, repeat the resistance and insulation integrity tests one last time. Record the results again on the warranty card. The connection of the thermostat must comply with the electrical code in your region. Installation must be performed by a duly qualified individual where required by law. To maintain manufacturer's warranties, follow the required curing times for cement adhesive or self-leveling materials prior to operating the floor heating system. You are now ready to enjoy the soft and enveloping warmth of your FlexTherm system.